We now move on to question number two. The name of Deputy uh, Boyd Barrett. Are we taking questions two and three together? Yeah. Questions two and three being taken together. That's questions the name of Deputies Richard Boyd Barrett and Claire Dick. <clears throat> in Corlett, the 2011 census has been organised and carried out by the Central Statistics Office. The field work has been undertaken by field staff directly recruited by the office. While the results will be processed by the CSO in the CSO Census Office located in Swartz, County Dublin. The census is a major undertaking for the CSO and con contractors have been appointed to assist with specialised parts of the work. An outside contractor, uh, uh, CACI UK Limited, was awarded £6.7 million uh, contract following the public procurement process to provide the CSO with an integrated form processing system. CACI UK specified and produced the hardware, software and subcontracted the printing of the census form optimised by scanning by the system. The system will be managed and operated by the CSO staff with the technical support of a smaller number of uh, CACI employees to process the completed census forms in the second half of this year. The completed census forms and any re um, resultant databases of the returns created during the processing will at all stages be completely under the control of the CSO and subject to the stringent confidentiality requirements by the uh, Statistics Act 1993. The selection of the contractor was subject to, to be complied fully with EU open procurement rules. CACI Limited has developed specialist skills in the area of high volume, uh, volume forms, processing systems and won similar contacts in the 2002 and 2006 census. No allegations have been made in respect of any direct involvement by CACI in the type of activities mentioned by the deputy. However, CSO is aware that in the spring of 2004, an allegation was made by an employee of CICI International, which is a parent company of CACI UK based in the United States, was involved in the uh, mistreatment of uh, detainees in the Arab Garab prison in Iraq. CACI UK Limited states that the allegation was not substantiated by any evidence or proof at the time. It was made and subsequent investigations by CACI International and the US government could not confirm it. CACI International have stated publicly that they, they take this allegation extremely seriously and they do not condone, tolerate or endorse any illegal behaviour by its employees in any circumstances or at any time they have held in the, in the past and always will hold themselves to the highest ethical standards. As the public body in the Central Statistics Office is fundamentally committed to the ethical and proper conduct in all matters and would never consider having any dealings with a company convicted by human rights abuse. EU procurement, recruit, uh, procurement, procurement uh, rules allow bidders to be excluded if they have been convicted of certain uh, criminal or other offences. However, as none of these uh, exclusions apply to CASI UK Limited or indeed to the US parent, the CSO has retained the services of the CASI UK Limited to assist in the efficient processing of the 2011 census returns. And I believe everybody in the House should be encouraging every householder in Ireland to participate fully in the census and to visit the census website and to get a feel for the enormous benefits that census information will bring to Ireland in over the coming years. Deputy Boyd Barrett. Minister, uh, the government are not taking seriously very serious question marks uh, that now stand over the extremely sensitive uh, and comprehensive information about Irish citizens uh, that the census, uh, the census involves. Um, to say that CACI have not been prosecuted uh, is not dealing with the issue. CACI currently have. Question time. You yes, can't I, make statements. I, I, I'm you asking. Just put points to the minister. I'm asking. No, sorry. Is you the, had this on the adjournment. Yeah. Uh, is last the minister? Week. So is, now it's question time. Is the time. minister? Is the, I am asking a question. Yeah, thank uh, you, Count Corla. Does, can the minister explain how they, the government do not have greater concern about the integrity uh, of the census, given the fact? 
The CACI currently have 200 Iraqi plaintiffs uh, who are uh, uh, trying to uh, mount lawsuits over their involvement in Abu Ghraib prison. Um, uh, there are also another four Iraqi plaintiffs uh, currently before the US Court of Appeals in the Fourth Circuit at uh, Richmond, Virginia. And that insofar as they have prevented proceedings in other cases that have been taken, it is because the US Court of Appeals ruled that CACI fell under the mil US military chain of command you see, and have thus question, had please. government contractor immunity. So I have to repeat, this is not for statements, this is for I'm, questions. I'm asking the Minister well, about a very serious matter. He put a question He's not responding to the question that I asked, that's why. But I mean, you've yeah, had this He's not responding for statements, this is question time. It's not a statement. I'm asking, do they not take these matters very seriously? That this, hold on, Minister. Uh, the, in other words, they have avoided legal cases against them because they're seeking diplomatic, they're seeking immunity, because they're a defence contractor. Most of their income comes from the Pentagon. Uh, they're very serious allegations, and to say they haven't been prosecuted is not good enough. So I put it to you, there are serious issues regarding the census, and some people, I'm not suggesting they should, but some people are suggesting they won't fill out the census form because of the questions uh, that, uh, that uh, uh, arise over it. And I'm asking, what is the government going to do to guarantee the security and integrity of the census and to reassure many people who are deeply concerned about the integrity of the census and the information that's contained in it. Thank you, Deputy Minister. Let me assure you, uh, Deputy, uh, that the CSO and the government has taken this issue extremely serious. And I'd be very disappointed if a member of this House was in any way encouraging people not to fill out the census forms. I said I wasn't encouraging. And I think you should be even saying that you should be encouraging people to fill out the census forms. I have encouraged and will continue to encourage uh, people to set, uh, fill out the census forms. I'm not sure if you really understand the importance of the census because the results of the census will be used for future generations to come and will be used for economic policy, for government policy and even your own, uh, and no doubt your own county council area will be using uh, the, the results of the, on the census forms. And I can assure you that the company that is employed or contracted by the CSO is of the highest integrity. And I can assure you as well that this company was employed previously uh, by the CSO in the 2002 census and in the 2006 census. And at no stage was there any information went uh, uh, um, astray in that they have the highest confidentiality. That all results of this, all results from the census forms, go back to the central office in Swords, and they do not leave there. That is where the, the, all of the information is collaborated and brought together. That it doesn't go to any company in the UK, or doesn't go. To, they are contracted uh, to, to, to uh, do the, the, the um, put the, the questionnaire and everything in, in the format that it is, and the computer system, and under no circumstances do uh, the, the, the information go anywhere else. Thank you. Uh, Short uh, supplementary. Uh, thank Minister, you. They, they are providing the hardware and the software and the data processing systems. Can you assure us they have no access, no access to the information in the census? And are you aware that the Register General for Scotland, where they're also conducting this uh, census, said that the sneak and peek warrants under the Patriot Act would allow, and these are his words, the CIA or the American government to secretly enter a business, either physically or virtually, conduct a search and depart without taking any tangible evidence or leaving notice of their presence. That's what the American law allows them to do to American companies. Can you guarantee us that they don't have access to, to that information and consequently that the American military or American intelligence services wouldn't also have access to this information? Can I, be, can I assure the Deputy once more uh, that the CSO has received correspondence from the public expressing concerns that the Irish census data is being processed by a US company and this could ultimately be used for the US national sec uh, security and concerns are entirely inaccurate. This is an incorrect on two counts. CACI Limited is a corporate UK uh, entity and is subject to the laws of the United Kingdom. It is not subject to laws of the United States. CACI Limited, American parent company, is not involved in any way in the preparation or delivery of systems for the Irish Census. Regarding the US Patriot Act, 
This can only be applied to data that is held in IT systems owned and operated by the company. This does not apply to the processing of Census 2011, and under no circumstances could the Patriot Act be employed to request data held by the CSO. But I just said so that the record of the House is, 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 is correct when you refer to CACI, it's CACI UK Limited, isn't that correct? Yes. Just for the record of the House. Deputy Claire Daly. Yeah, um, I don't want to repeat uh, points, Ciarán Corla, but I think it's precisely because of the importance of the census that these issues are being raised, because uh, citizens do have genuine concerns given the sort of private and medical information that is being corrected, collected in it, and I really don't think, Minister, that you have uh, answered the questions fully. Um, I suppose what I would add is a supplementary, like where is and what is the interface with the CSO uh, staff based in Swords? This company supplies the hardware and supplies the software. So when it goes back to Swords, how many CACI operatives, for example, are present during that time? After that, in the processing of it, what happens to the hardware? Where is it stored? Is it destroyed? What happens to the software? Uh, either Those are the issues, I suppose, that are causing concerns. And it's not really good enough to say, well, this company, the parent company, has never really been convicted when you consider the standards that are being uh, adopted because they do operate under the US rules of engagement, which do permit very unacceptable practices, which may not be unlawful, but they are, would be deemed unacceptable by most Irish citizens, permitting sleep deprivation, sensory deprivation, and so on. And I suppose the question is, is why did the government choose a company out of all of the companies in the world and in Ireland? Why did you choose one whose sort of expertise uh, is as professional interrogators and really operators of, of defence contracts in the main? All of the companies that they own are military based, uh, deal with interrogation and uh, defence and it doesn't sit neatly with the issues which are exceptionally important and are raised in, in uh, the census. So I do think Minister, you need to give a little bit more information on that. The number of staff, the interface and what happens afterwards. Well, let me assure the Deputy uh, that the contract of 6.7 million contract was given to this company following a public procurement uh, process uh, to provide the CSO with an integrated forms uh, processing system. And everybody and anybody was allowed uh, to, um, to apply uh, for within that process. And these were the successful company. As I've said from the outset, this company was used in 2002 and in 2006, and no information from the Irish CSO or the Central Statistics Office have escaped in any way, and it has been, it has been absolutely, totally confidential. Let me assure the Deputy of that. And like, you know, I think it's only a small number of people have made complaints to the CSO about this company here, a very, very small minimalistic number of people have made any forms of complaint. That most people uh, in this country and in the House here are encouraging people uh, to fill up their census forms on Sunday night next. So like, you know, I think it's important that we encourage people to do that. And we do not place any uh, doubt in anyone's mind uh, that their information is going to be leaked uh, or, or used by some form of, of foreign company for any reason. Prime Minister, but with respect, how you do that is by precisely answering the concerns that, you ha that they have, and in, in fairness, you haven't, because I think all deputies have, have received quite widespread correspondence in relation to raising uh, concerns about this. How do we know that the data hasn't been lost? We just don't know that, but it, it may have been. And you haven't answered how many operatives are involved, what's the, what's the connection with our own staff in the CSO, and what happens to the hardware and the software after that, and to really encourage citizens to participate in, in the sense that I think those are the issues that you really need to be dealing with and I, I don't think you have so if you could come back in and actually answer some of those I think it would be helpful. Well I think you're the only two deputies that have actually raised this, raised this concern uh, with the CSO. Uh, we've answered questions on this in the, in the German debate last week. I've again this morning come in. Uh, the CSO office have been out on, on national airwaves uh, answering questions uh, and, we, we, and they have on all occasions mentioned the confidentiality of the CSO and the way it runs its, its, uh, its business. And I can, I can uh, reiterate again that the confidentiality is a huge issue and, is a, and will continue to be so uh, for the continuation of the CSO. Thank you, Minister.
We now move on to um, 